Hello everyone, welcome back to the John and Myla channel. On today's video, we'll be touching more on nutrition. You know, nutrition is very important. If you work hard, you have to feed yourself right. So in the previous video, I share about my morning rituals and my workout plan. For this week, my workout is the same, but I just increased the weight by 0.5 kg for each, each exercises. So on today's video, I'll touch more on recipes that you yourself can do and it's also cheap to do. As you know, in the hawker scene in Singapore, usually the food is high in carbohydrate and sodium. So nutritional nutrition wise it is rather difficult to maintain and seek. So uh, without further ado, these are some of the recipes I'd like to show. Some of the ingredients you've probably never seen or cooked before, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you on how to do this squid and couscous salad. We'll start by cooking the chickpea. It's really simple to cook. Just take one cup of chickpea to four cups of water, a pinch of salt, and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, just lower down the heat and cook for approximately 90 minutes. If it dries up, don't worry, just add more water and continue cooking until it's cooked through. Next, we'll be doing the couscous, which is super simple. Just take 150 grams of couscous, one tablespoon of olive oil, and then pour in 240 milliliters of hot water. Leave it aside for seven minutes, open it up, fluff it, and that's all. For those who haven't attempted on squid their entire life, you can just follow this video. Remove the legs, the wings, just by inserting your index finger and separating it from the head. Next, you would want to remove the skin of the squid. Uh, this is up to your personal preference. You can leave it on if you want. Split the head open and remove whatever that's inside. Likewise, remove the skin from the squid wing. When you work on the legs, just cut beneath the eyes and pop up the beak. And then, usually I'll just score it like that and portion into 100 grams for me. For this, you just need to dice a small cucumber. And next, we're going to be dicing half a bell pepper. So now we're going to put in around 100 grams of couscous. 50 grams of chickpea and 50 grams of Greek yogurt along with the boiled squid. Mix it up with a bit of paprika is fine and that's about it. Alright, let's move on to the next recipe, okay? The next recipe you'll be doing a tuna wrap. Just slice some cucumber uh, any way you want. Uh, for this recipe, I use one. Toast some whole wheat tortilla, just reheat them. A canned tuna. You know, then I'll just split them with the leftover vegetables from last night, the chickpea, bell peppers, and got them. I miss the couscous. Couscous will be an amazing addition to the dish. Never mind, moving on to the third dish, we'll be doing a lap thai salad. First, we blister some cherry tomatoes, add some garlic, chili, and then 200 grams of minced chicken. We're gonna season it with uh, just a little bit of dark soy sauce and fish sauce, add water so that the chicken will cook through. Cooked till is dry, served with cabbage, long bean, and cucumber. So for my video, I hope you realize that if you are not a competitive bodybuilder or a world-class athlete, it's not really necessary to count your macros that strictly. So what you want to do is just lower down your consumption of carbs, increase your consumption of fruits and vegetables, have sufficient protein for your weight, uh, drink lots of water, and just don't eat too much. Just eat whatever calories you need for that day. And if you're active, uh, you should consume higher calories. If not, just lower down your calories. Uh, I, still do good, I still do go out with my friends and eat uh, like hot pot and Korean barbecue and this and that. I just make sure that my calorie count is within the limit that I set for myself. So. As always, I hope this helps you and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.